Hello and welcome back to another episode of Saxthorpe Farms. So today is finally the day that we can get this canola field harvested. It is now ready to harvest. So I've got all the kit up here ready to go. It's obviously not a very big field. It's not going to take us very long with uh, the old Lexian combine. So my plan of action today is we're going to get this harvested. Um, and then this field... And the canola field that we harvested uh, before in a uh, in a previous episode we're going to bail both of them up and uh, and hopefully get the bale sold off them um that's my plan of action today whether we get it all done or not i'm not 100 percent sure um the main focus i definitely want to get done though is get it har this harvested and both bailed at, at the very least today so whether we get some of the bales or all of them sold not a hundred percent sure but um yeah that is my plan of action today so without further ado we will get in the combine and get it all started up we obviously don't want this straw chopper on so that's fine we will get harvested if i can get in the field that is There we go. So yeah, it won't take long with this combine. Gotta make short work of this field, but um, yeah, it's finally good. Um, <laughs> ignore the achievement. I had trouble with farm sim the other day. <laughs> I had to reinstall the game, so we might get a few achievements pop up. Um, but yeah, it's good to get this field finally harvested. I have been uh, been waiting to get this field done. So we can crack on with some uh, some other stuff. Obviously, we're now into September, so we're time is progressing on. I have a feeling because I've got the um, what's it called it combine experience on. I've got the wrong settings on. Bear with me. There we go. We're away again. Yeah, obviously just reinstalling everything. It um, put some of my settings out from what I had before. But anyways, how are we going? The is yielding pretty good not quite as much as before but then i don't know whether it's judging the harvest off um, the carrot harvest or this not 100 percent sure with that one but um, yeah i've had a, th a think with this field um and i think i'd quite like to make it into a cow pasture it's, I mean, it's an okay arable field. Um, I wouldn't say it's really that worthwhile the drilling it and um, harvesting it. So I think it would be more worthwhile having it as, um, as an animal field, you know, grass field. So I think that's what we'll um, we'll do. We'll obviously put um, some fencing in along the uh, the road line. Don't need to worry about the, sort of the rest of the uh, because got the hedges, but yeah, get a gate and uh, whatnot put in. I think in terms of um, vegetables, it, well, vegetables, I say, you know, like potatoes and carrots and all that sort of thing. I want to try and purchase field number five, which is right by the yard where we're going to be storing them. And I think have that build as whatever sort of root crop we do. Um, 
and then maybe sort of look at field turn eight, nine, and ten. So, because I mean, the other fields we, you know, we're on the map. There's plenty of big Arab fields that we can have. So, sort of sectioning them four off to, um, you know, have uh, have as the root crops. I don't think would be a bad thing. So yeah, just little thoughts I've had um, with the uh, with the map. So yeah. I wonder if we'll get all this field in the uh, in the combine whole field. Be interesting to see. So it's looking like we won't get it all in the car park. <laughs> it's wards full. I suppose that's a good thing though. So is the fields um, yielding half decent. I think it, it must be going off the harvest from the, um, the carrots that are in here. It's obviously not yielding quite as much as we were. get the trailer get this combine and loaded go Yeah, gonna need to get some uh, some lime down on these fields. Right, let's get this last bit done. And we can uh, we can crack on with some bailing then. The rain is slowly coming in, so I think we're going to get this bit harvested just before it starts to rain, which is really really lucky. It was good timing on our beer uh, our behalf. Yeah, that was very lucky, that was. Right, that is that field harvested anyway. I'm hoping with taking this back to the yard, um, obviously getting set up for bailing, the rain will have hopefully have passed. Um, Hopefully it's not going to be a big old shower. Obviously it's going to be difficult then to bail the uh, bail the straw. I suppose we'll have to just see how we get on. If we have to go to the next in-game day, I suppose we have to go to the next in-game day. It would be uh, one of those things, obviously, we're under the elements with farming so it's one of those things unfortunately hold on hold that up get this all uh take it back to the uh, to the yard yeah it's just probably got a cover on this trailer got the grain from, uh, from getting wet yeah I'm hopefully it's just going to be a sort of a light shower and the sun's going to come out 
leave for an hour or so and then we'll be able to bail is what I'm hoping <laughs> but plans always yeah plans do sometimes go to a bit a uh, bit of a part but yeah that's obviously the other fields we need to bail a lot the one that we harvested so head back and get this tipped anyway Right, so we're just heading back to the field now. Left it, to, it was just a quick shower to be fair, luckily. So I've left it a, a couple of hours just for the straw to just dry out a bit in the sun. So we'll go and crack on with a bit of bailing now. We'll get obviously this little one done first. Then we'll go and uh, we're going back on with the uh, the big field to bail I'd be interested to see actually how many bells we get oh here we set the bell count huh? work my keys there's one controller let's see how many we uh, we get Don't miss a load, that is. Oh. Yeah, this obviously it won't be good enough for um for animal bedding. But what we can use it for is sell it well, we're obviously gonna sell it at the bail um sell point. But I think in real life they would sell it to a um like a straw power plant where they'll burn it um, obviously to make electricity so that's in theory what I'm going to do if I don't miss too much I don't know why the straw swaps are so wide all of a sudden on this not too bad down here I don't think see without my bad driving But um, yeah, if I had the money, I'd probably um, lease a um, a lorry trailer and uh, and stack them on that. But because we don't really have the money, I'm just going to use the uh, the super chaser again and just yeah pick them up like that. Take a bit of time, but it'll be worth it. I think for how much um, how much money we get for selling them. This loads of bits. Sometimes I think is it worthwhile playing around with a little wind drawer, wind drawing up some of these. Um, Spots. They're just so wide. Look at that. This bow is just, <laughs> it's just small. I have thought about on this map maybe putting on the, um, the straw harvest pack because then bales like this we could um, do straw pellets out of so might be something which we, uh, we do obviously that, again that's going to take a lot of money a lot of investment to getting that set up so that's obviously a fair way off here yeah, being uh, being able to do that Uh, 
There we go. All picked up. I don't think there's any bits left to uh, miss. So we can unload the baler. How many did we get? Well, eight bales off there. Not too bad at all. I wasn't expecting a um, massive amount anyway, to be fair. But uh, yeah, what we'll do is we'll go and uh, back on now with the big field. We should get quite a few off uh, of that one. I mean, they are Heston bales as well, so it is perhaps sometimes difficult to, to judge whether you've got a lot or not. Because they're putting a lot of um, material into the uh, into the bale. But, uh, yeah, back on with this now. I don't think it should take us too long. We might get a few bales sold today. But I definitely wanted to get it bailed up anyway. But obviously, weeds are starting to grow now, so... Yeah, definitely needs uh, needs picking up. It shows <laughs> just how long ago we harvested this field. Weeds starting to come through. I think this will need lime as well. No, it's not terrible. No, it's not completely bad, but. I suppose while we're lining that school, I feel we might as well get this one done as well. Makes sense. Spitting these bales out left, right, and centre. Cracking on well. <clears throat> what about 35, 36 bales now, which is pretty good. Means we're on four and a bit loads anyway, straw. Still got plenty of the uh, of the field left to go, so. Just going to pick this bit up by the mist, these specs. Every little helps. I might do it where I sell these um, off screen and I'll next episode I'll let you know how much we've um, made off them I think next time we'll probably crack on with a bit of drilling I think is, uh, is what I'm going to do but obviously now we're in September we can uh, start drilling a few different crops so yeah I think that's what we'll crack on with next time I will get these both these uh, fields lined as well. Um, but, uh, yeah. It'll soon come around as well when we start selling a few, uh, few different of our crops that we've harvested. be some big money to come in there will be I mean when we sell the um, oil seed rape the best price that's worth 372 272k what we've got worth in the uh, in the silo which is really good so yeah that's just from uh, from the oil seed rape alone And I think the, the oats is worth 186k. Yeah, big old, uh, big old change. Last couple of rows left. 
we've obviously, yeah, we've chucked out a fair well few bales. We need to have a look at me. We've, uh, we've got actually. 73 is what we've made so far. Not including obviously the ones we make with this, uh, this last swap. But no, yeah, that's um, eight and a bit loads. Uh, with the uh, with the super chaser, so I mean, there's probably more money out here, but I, I'd I'd like to think there's at least fifty grand, fifty k's worth worth of straw with this in the little field. I'd like to think there's probably more. I probably <laughs> I mean, fifty k would be nice, but. Whether I get more or less, I have no idea. But anyway, finally got it all bailed. Which is brilliant. They are big old bales, these. I sometimes forget how big, um, big they are, what, uh, what they hold. But, um, yeah, that is where I'm going to end today's episode. Like I say, I'm going to get these bales sold off screen. Um, and uh, I get both fields limed and then next episode we should uh, should crack on with a bit of drilling so I think in terms of crops the field that we're in at the moment is probably going to be another canola field that we're probably going to keep as oats um, and then obviously 43 we're going to plant in grass because we're going to make that into a um, a pasture for the, uh, for the cattle to graze on so or we might even put sheep in there could be a could be a thing, but um, yeah. In terms of arable fields, that's it for the uh, for the harvest. We just got obviously the potatoes to harvest later down the line. Which I'm trying to think now, when we harvest the potatoes, we're getting into the harvest period now of potatoes. So I don't know whether they are ready to harvest. Are oh, they are ready to harvest? So yeah, we could um, we could even do that next time. So we've got lots of work to be cracking on with, most definitely so. But um, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed today's episode. As always, if you have enjoyed the episode, please remember to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't already, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Would uh, much appreciate it. And I will hopefully catch you all in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Bye, guys.